they could make a music documentary about any artist in blues rock, Willie, who would you like to see them make a documentary about? Ah, uh, good question. I hope this doesn't come off as too cliche, but I, I think I'd have to go with Kingfish, Mr. Chris Stone Ingram. I think that when you look at a documentary, at least with for music, and actually, I guess for anything, whether it's sports or film, or it's it's one half the artist who they are now and the things they did, and the other half is sort of their backstory. So both those parts need to be good. And so I think with Kingfish, you get both those parts and you get them, you know, massively. His talent is undeniable. I mean, you can't, there's not a single person that's seen him who will walk out of a show and say, oh man, I really wasted my evening. Not at all. He's an incredibly electric performer. I got to see him down here in Austin. It was incredible. He came out into the, 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 the into the crowd, crowd yep. on the stage. He broke off the string. And he, he didn't do anything. He took his time. He just let his band play. He was so casual. He was so cool. His licks, his songs, his singing, the whole package. And then on the other hand, the thing that makes a great documentary is the almost the, the mythicism of who he is. You look where he's from. He's from Clarksdale. You want to play the blues and you want to pick a city in the United States to be from? I mean, I guess you could say something like Chicago's good too, and but like, nah, Clarksdale. So, Pete, do you agree with sort of my take is you need both the person and what they've done and also the story of who they are? And who would you take, Pete? Yeah, Willie, I do think that's a great pick with Kingfish being from, you know, the Crossroads area Literally. where Robert Johnson allegedly made a deal with the devil. So I think that's very, very cool. For me... My pick for a music documentary would be Eric Gales. Okay. I think when you're looking at a story, he's got a hell of a story. Eric Gales came on the scene at a young age, had some success. He played with Carlos Santana on stage at Woodstock 94. I mean, he did some big things in the early 90s. Yeah. And then he's been public about this. Drugs got involved with some bad stuff mm -hmm. and you know, he had a bit of a tailspin and he's been open about this ended up spending some time in prison and actually in the prison. And you can look up this video on YouTube. He even played at the prison. And so there's a lot of aspects to his story, but I think the best part of this story, Willie is it's a redemption story. Yeah. And Eric Gales now has been sober for many years and he's been producing some of the best music of his career. And his career has really elevated and taken off in the last couple of years. And so it is an amazing story of redemption with Eric Gales. And he's one of the most unique guitarists out there as well. And so I think you have all of those aspects together. And you really have a great, engaging, interesting story that I think would make a really strong documentary, Willie. Yeah, you know what? And I'll, I'll add something for both our picks. Um, I got to interview Mr. Gales. We both got to sit down with Kingfish. Uh, and what I took away from that too is, so you brought up the idea, I brought up the idea that there's two sides. You brought up the idea that a redemption story is great. Uh, I think another thing that makes a great documentary is the person being likable. And both of these guys are really, really likable guys. Would you agree? Yeah, for sure. I, I and mean, yeah, both have great stories, inspiring stories. Yeah. And I think so, that's what that really resonates with people when you're looking at a documentary. Yeah, I think that ties it up. So what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments down below. Obviously, there's more than just two stories out there. So we have not covered even the tip of the iceberg. Go ahead and let us know. Give us a thumbs up if you like what's going on, and we'll see you around.